they've done it again. Johanna Runt and Stephen Mitchell are the APTA national champions for the second year in a row. There you have it, your women's APTA national champions, Florentina Harnish and Anna Maria Zabori. Hello and welcome to the APTA Tour Series. We are live from Westchester Country Club in Rye, New York, bringing you the Westchester Open, sponsored by the APTA membership, our national sponsor Viking, and local sponsors Grant & Sons Liquors, Mission, Grayson & Associates Law Firm, Curry Automotive, Exclusive Bridal Shop, Lemon Perfect and School U. I'm Mark Innes alongside with Mark the Voice Official. We are bringing you the men's finals between number two seeds Juan Araya and Mark Parsons who are taking on the number one seeds Mark Powers and John Hughes. Mr. Official, how are you sir? I am delighted to be here with you Mr. Innes. This is going to be a lot of fun. I um, couldn't agree let's more. Take a quick look at the players in the court and then start talking about the match. That's Juan Araya in the black hat, aptly wearing it, I should add, uh, coming on the court. His partner, Mark Parsons, in the blue sweatshirt, is off the court. And then on the far side of the net, taking off his black jacket, is Mark Powers. And in the white and blue cap is John Hughes. Um, let's take a quick look at the draw to see how the teams got here. They didn't expand much energy. All Both of them got through relatively easily without the loss of a set all day long. Um, Hughes Powers coming off of a, a real demolition of Broderick Chavinsky. I think it was Love and Two. Um, so I expect both teams to be really fresh, which is nice to see because in the one-day tournaments we've had a, had some issues with that with people running out of gas. Um, why don't we take a look at the Viking keys to victory? I know that we don't have them on the screen because of the technical problems we had. But for Hughes and Powers, Mark, I've got to avoid the Parsons' backhand. Uh, Hughes hit most of the overheads and maintained their level. We definitely saw... Needle down the line. Oh. Quick volley exchange. Okay, I'm back. Some technical, more technical problems. Welcome back. Now, Mark, as I was saying before, these teams haven't played since oh. Nationals Finals 2019. That was the last time they met? Isn't that hard to believe? Oh, my goodness. And who won that, uh, that, that was the one that Orion Parsons won, correct? 7-5 in the third. Look at this point. Man. Hey, he was over on the wrong side of the net. <laughs> I think Stop one time to get it. back over. We, what a point. That's an indication of what we're going to see today. Grab the popcorn. We are in for a treat. I do want to go through the Viking keys to victory, Mark. I know, John, we couldn't get them mm -hmm. online because of some technical issues. Oh, great volley from Mariah. But to me, for Hughes and Powers, they've just got to avoid the Parsons backhand. You and Jeff Morneau talked about that in the last match, and so much of the Araya Parsons offense in the backcourt comes from there. On top of that, and, and as part of that, I think Hughes has got to hit more of the overheads. Absolutely, they're, they're at an advantage there if, with, with John Hughes being a lefty Araya and Parsons having such the great overheads, they can really attack Juan Araya in the in the deuce court so that definitely lines up with your Viking keys and then finally they've just got to maintain their level there's a little up and down in that quarterfinal match played better in the semis but just have to have to maintain their level better for Araya Parsons I don't think they can win this match from the backcourt I think they've got to take over the net and once they do that they've got to isolate powers there's so much of the Hughes powers offense comes off of that that powers forehand and what they did at the 2019 Nationals is they attacked. 15 off. <laughs> 30, 15. John Hughes trying to drop it at the feet at the net player, just 
didn't happen that time. Now the net cord goes the way of powers and use that time. Solid put away there by Juan Araya. Takes them to game point. Araya looking to cut that ball off and, and drop shot. Little too little too soft that time. Advantage, Powers, Hughes. Early break opportunity here for Powers and Hughes. Tough drive in there by Powers, Powers and Hughes early. Two games to one. They get the early break. They're two one up. John Hughes is looking looking loose out there and really taking some good cuts at that at his forehand. Mark Powers always has that great quick release. Mark Powers up to serve. Can they consolidate the break here? Love 15. and Hughes being so disciplined to keep it away from the Parsons back end. Fifteen all. That was a really disciplined point there by Powers and Hughes. for Araya. Great effort there by John Hughes to try and track that ball down. Powers Hughes get the net. And 
Ryan Parsons get it right back. Great pressure there by John Hughes. Dips it at Ryan's toes. Makes him move forward. Makes him look up. Feel the pressure. Tough stuff. Wow. That's the ball John Hughes wants. Perfect angle for him to turn his shoulders and just cut it. The first ball that Powers has hit at. Parsons backhand in a while. You can see they're doing everything they can to just keep it away from there. They've, they've done a great job of isolating it so far. Wow. Does that angle even exist? Great cut by John Hughes there. Little help with the net cord. Game, Powers Hughes. Powers Hughes lead the first set, three games to one. Fantastic start here for Hughes and Powers. They've got a break. They're doing a great job of keeping it away from the Parsons backhand. John Hughes looking very confident on his forehand. Wow, great hold there by Araya. Fakes like he's going to drive. Gets Powers to step in and he goes with the lob. Big game in this first set here. Thirty all. Powers will want that back. He was all over it. Yes. Wow. Nice Parsons is one of the best. There, there for Parsons. Is the, do I hear the voice? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go! Welcome back. <laughs> Have you been seeing this action, Mr. Fischl? Some of it. I was busy restarting Discord. Hughes and Powers uh, have, Ryan Parsons. have done a phenomenal job of just keeping the ball away from from the Parsons backhand. Powers got but burnt by it once early on and it has not gone back there since. Yeah, the first game was all Araya Parsons. Apparently since then things have turned around completely. Mariah's been much more patient this year, Mark. It'll be interested to see if he can maintain the patience for long stretches of these long grinding points. Of course, whether Hughes and Powers can maintain it as well. Not their favorite style. It's, it's definitely been action-packed so far, but as you mentioned, it's going to be tricky for Ryan Parsons to find the offense when they're really keeping the ball away from Parsons' back end. 
I can just feel the discipline of Mark Powers here. It's such a natural shot to hit it towards that ad court side screen. And Parsons baits you to do it, but he's, he's staying strong. It's interesting because Jim Kaufman used to coach Hughes and Powers, beg them to play like this for a long time. Sometimes it takes a while to, uh, to sink in, but it seems to be they're, they're playing very tough so far. As with another South African who we all know and love. <laughs> Shout out how to take Durant. How long did it take Johan getting his, his head kicked Ryan in by Parsons. Broderick to figure out that he had to play the middle more? Hey. Took, how was it, three nationals? <laughs> yeah. And this is what we were talking about, the keys to victory, is that I really believe Orion Parsons need the net to win this match. The more they're at the baseline, just the, the longer the points are going to go. And as you've said, it's not the, the preferred style for either of these players, but especially Juan Araya. There, there they get the net. And we got disconnected a couple of times, Mark, but we were talking earlier about how they haven't played since March of 19. That is incredible. Araya jumps in front of Parsons because of the Miss Valley. Yeah, for teams at this level not to have played in almost three years and they both play regularly Araya Parsons did just recently get the the number three ranking in the country they, they bumped down or Doyen Burris so we would probably see a lot more of these matchups if the the rankings and teams stay true for the rest of the season. Oh, ho, ho. big screen drive by Mark pa Powers. There's a Ryan playing too fast. Advantage, power, use. Yeah, for Ryan Parsons had won Detroit, they would have jumped up to two in the country. Rare wild forehand for Mark Powers. He missed a similar return at, at 15.30 on, on Parsons' serve, but he's just got to keep swinging. When he gets dialed in, it's return like no other. Tough Perfect volley there by Araya. Araya Powers talks about a return to the mean, so he's not going to stop swinging because his mean is they're going in. Parsons just struggled with that serve to the head court a little bit this year. Second fault of the game, yeah. Wow. Oh, Hughes got, wow, great move by Hughes. Power, Hughes. He's looking, I thought, he's was, looking I thought he was out of position out there. there, but so quick. Yeah, so quick. He's moving well, he's looking confident. Great high lobs there. It's a great yes. overhead, Mariah. Let that ball drop so low. I often think we should change the name of the shot, Mark. I mean, it's not an overhead. There's nothing about it that's over your head. Very true. Any any pr proposed changes? The side head. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a play of his. We saw that in the Witch final when he, he brought Odoya forward with the cut back and then just gave him a little love tap as he tried to jump out of the way. I like this. Okay. Game. Powers, Hughes. Powers and Hughes lead the first set. Four games to one. They get uh, their second break. Powers and Powers and Hughes are looking strong. Oh, here's the replay. We see him bring Araya forward. Araya gets it and love tap. Just a 
official. I know you missed a couple of the, the games there. Any any thoughts so far? Talked about in the keys to victory. I mean, you know, Powers is going to generate the offense in the backcourt for Hughes and Powers, and Parsons for Araya Parsons. And which team is going to avoid the, the danger zone is the team that's going to win for the most part for me. Great volleying early from Hughes Powers. There are no balls going to that Boston's back end. 15, love. Look how far over Parsons is. Normally doesn't stand that far over. Oh. Great dig from Hughes. He is moving so well. He's so good at digging the ball out, making you start the point all over again. So demoralizing. And Parsons played such a great point. And all it got him was a, a do-over. Now arrives in the ad court. <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd see some of this. This was by necessity, but I thought we'd see some of this by intention as well. We definitely may put that pass in his back end right in the middle. Love. Well, the last four sets have been the huge powers that dominated the tour in 2018 and most of 2019. Big Love. serve right into the neck by John Hughes. He's been known to get quite a few points just banging it right at the neck. Great wow. volley. That was a heavy ball by Mark Parsons. Great job absorbing the pace there. Hey, the Hughes and Powers power to show. Hughes. Hughes lead the first set. Five, Five consecutive one. games. Touch the net. Love 15. Love 15. Apparently not. Did not touch the net. Great get from Mark Powers. Wow, they just can do nothing wrong right now. This is a flawless set so far. Hughes winning all those volley exchanges with Araya that generally Araya comes out on top. Isn't it amazing those all the volleys they were making in, in the quarters and semis? Two set points, yeah. Great high lob. Oh. Did he miss, Did he miss him? I, it seems so. How is that possible? Oh, you know that John Hughes is a nice guy. He just didn't want to hurt him. He just didn't want to hurt him. Oh. Heavy okay. ball takes Powell it up high, Hughes. pumps it to Araya's feet. Win the first set. Six games to one. Wow, that was some exhibition, those six games. Oh my goodness, Hughes and Powers are just looking rock solid, very confident, and firing on all cylinders right now. So what are you going to do, Mark, if you're Raya Parsons to change things up? I wouldn't mind actually seeing Parsons jumping over to the deuce court for a couple times. They've done such a great job of keeping his back end at bay. They really, I think, hit one ball there and got got burnt by it, and they didn't again. So the only way they're going to see more looks on that is by putting Parsons a few more times in the deuce court. Yeah, the only problem with that is Hughes has so much spin in his overhead. I'm not sure how well Parsons is going to handle that over there. We'll see what they do, but so far Powers and Hughes are looking pretty unstoppable. For those of you that didn't see 
the women's tournament yesterday. Anna Maria Zabori and Florentina Hanish kept up their dominance as they beat Shea and Sutter in the finals 6-4, six, 6-4. Six, four, six, four. They are uh, they're undefeated for this season, Mark. Yeah, it was a good competitive match. Very impressed with how well Jolene Sutter's playing. I mean, she's definitely coming. And they shout out to break Jolene, points. Jolene Sutter. It's her birthday today, so happy birthday to her. She, I wonder if she got a kick like Patty Hogan got. Patty, happy birthday. And, of course, Anton Maverin. We miss him. Big Anton. 15, He's love. just tearing him up. Surprised they haven't moved that ball by the door, Mark. That's a little far out from my comfort level. Oh. It's the, the parent in you coming through. I didn't even notice it. Well, a lot of misses from Parsons right now. John Hughes is just looking... He's oozing confidence right now. Reminder for the folks at home, the third set is a full third set. The rest of the day, the third set has been a super tiebreaker. For the finals, it is a full third set. Well, all the way things are going, I don't know that we're going to get to experience that. <laughs> you never know with the Ryan Parsons. You never know. You never know. But right now, I would, uh, if I was a betting man, I don't know that I'd be betting for it. Your, mo your money could be safe, that's for sure. You can see this is a tough matchup the way that the way that they're keeping that ball away from the Parsons back end. It's safe down the middle. They're waiting for the right ball. Then John Hughes just turns his shoulders and chops it up. Tough move by We're just old. the Parsons. But they had all the answers. Yep. They've won all those exchanges so far today. Switching into the permanent eye. They like doing this against lefties. Wow. Oh, what a yet. He's some athlete, didn't he? Here comes Hughes. <laughs> Araya won in the exchange. He was giving him a but little. The t taking the collateral damage after he won the exchange. That's it. Just mentally. Gives you the edge still. Hughes has volleyed so well today. You can see how well he's doing. I'm just keeping that paddle up in front of him and not reaching for much. Just putting his body in position, heading to what's coming right at him. Game powers well, that's a mental blurt right there. And that's what it's, it's like you were saying. That's what they're doing. They're they're really making Araya force the action from the back if he wants if he wants to get the net and. You know, he, he does a good job of chipping that backhand and bringing the players forward, but against these two, it's, it's not going to be enough. Well, the first thing they need to do is win a game. Step that would one. help a lot. Baby steps. Baby steps. Love one. We've got Raya starting this set. Mixing the sidearm and overhand serve today. Love 15. Is this the first tournament you started this, Mark? Yep, yep. Any any insights on what made him do it? Just another weapon in the arsenal. Love it. I was about to say, he didn't have quite enough, you know. Yeah, exactly. Just needed another one. I love how shallow in the court Hughes is playing. I mean, literally inside the baseline, lots of points. Look, can use his hands and athleticism to really put pressure on him. He's looking very fresh, that's for sure. It's all that sleep he's getting with uh, two newborn twins. Yep. Oh. oh! What hands from Powers. 
Wow. This is ridiculous. What an exhibition they're putting on right now. And you can see how far Ryan's having to come over to, to try and get a forehand. Oh, great dig for Parsons. Back in the permanent eye. <laughs> Look at them scramble. So for our fans that are watching, they don't exactly know what the permanent eye is. It's where they're literally Arias playing in the center of the court, straddling the center stripe, looking for drop shots or balls he can cut for winners. And Parsons is standing behind him, hitting the roller off the backhand and the forehand. And they're going to play most it. of the balls into the, the ad, into the deuce court, into John Hughes. And they're doing it permanently. That's 15 all. Wow. Oh. Somebody go touch John Hughes for me. He's just on fire. I might In ask Fuego. Him to to, might ask him to go to Mohegan Sun after this with me. Yeah, get some, get some lottery tickets. This is a big game right here. A couple of really important points coming up. Yep. This match can turn so fast. Or it could be over in 10 minutes. There you see Parsons standing behind him. Just behind the service line. And there are very few guys that can pull this off. So you got to be able to hit the overhead off of both wings. And there's a mere handful of guys that really can do that. Parsons got so much control. And, and it's, you see the miss from Hughes. It's great to 30. use in a matchup where, where one player doesn't drive quite as hard. So you can see, as you were saying, they're busy going at John Hughes with it because he's not known for an overpowering drive. He's, he's making a lot of good ones today, but he's not known to hit it through you like, uh, like his partner Mark Powers will. And that's where this, this move can be effective. First time I saw this was... Well, there you go. It was Parsons, Grant Parsons against Cochran and Estes at the Pittsburgh Nationals, I think, in 2014. Brainchild of Parsons and Alex Banchila. Shout out to them. So they're, they're going to make just, just like we talked about the mirror images, just like Hughes Powers are making Araya beat him from the backcourt. They're really going to make Hughes beat him from the backcourt. It's a big game. Yep. Positive energy from Araya, and they're on the board. One all. One game apiece. See if that turns things around a little bit. As we know in paddle, that, that first set can mean nothing very quickly. So we'll see how Hughes and Powell respond here. Yeah, we see Parsons over in the deuce court. Boy, he's in survival mode now, just trying to get the ball back in play. We talked about this last tournament, Mark, but it seems like the guys that spin the ball the most deal with the spin the best. I'd say that's a fair statement. I mean, you rarely have ever see a an Araya or a Durant bothered by the spin. Yeah, maybe they just kind of feel what, what's going to happen. It gives you that little instinct. Yep. That's some volley by Parsons with Araya jumping in front of him. Oh. He's got to be careful with that. That's exactly what they're looking for. Sometimes when you put your hand in the lion's cage, it gets bitten. <laughs> That was a pretty good rip from Hughes, too. He did it well. Go. 
Parsons will be very disciplined on that forehand. He won't try the ball below his waist. Well, that, look at that, a miss from Powers. All of a sudden, things are sliding the other way a little bit. 30. That was a donation, a very generous donation. That's it. He got suckered into trying to slide it by Parsons' backhand. There's that forehand I talked about from high to low. Again, Hughes so short in the court. No, Ryan reached to the forehand and Hughes caught him there. That's the ball he wants though. 15-30. Big moments in the match right here. Another great volley from Hughes. Wow. Wow. That was a heavy, heavy oh. return there by Mark Parsons. Hughes make it look effortless. Big time play at a big time moment. Raya Pass is doing a good job of lobbing to keep the ball away from, from John Hughes. Definitely promotes the ball going towards Parsons back end a little bit more. Wow. Hours. That ball was behind 40, him. 30. Point for 2-1. Oh. Great pickup. Yes. Big time return there oh. by Mark Parsons. I was glad Powers 4 was going the other way, Mark. Would have made me very nervous it was coming towards me. <laughs> that ball was tagged. Back to Deuce. Big game. Good swing by Araya and a pretty good serve. Yeah, really tough off the lefty serve to take it off the deck like that. Oh, Parsons is not happy with that miss. You can't blame him. So smart of Hughes to let that ball through. Fantastic return. It's not a winning position. Very few players can take John Hughes' serve off the deck like that. And we talked about this, in, I guess, in the quarters, but look how dynamic Hughes' feet are, the way he's always moving. Looking for the down-up overhead, looking to attack. Oh, that looked like it hit something Advantage. wrong, like someone's Ryan finger was sticking Parsons. through the wire. A little Did tampering. he just die? Might have been a little tampering. Some some big oh. Raya fans in the audience. we got to get Tiernan Cavana out there to take a look <laughs> at that. I mean, that, that seemed illegal to me. That was Parsons, point. let's get the return in, pl in play. <laughs> and there it is, Araya the Parsons, Parsons drive, the Araya Blitz, and they're up a break. Araya Parsons lead the second set, two games to one. Big game there. And one match, Mark. Absolutely, and, ju and just like that, you can feel, you know, even though first set was so one-sided, right now, all things can be equal in this second set. That's all it takes sometimes in paddle. Shout out to Mr. Oh. Greg Robertson. You're going to hear him singing some sweet tunes up in the chair there. Keep himself Done a great warm. job in the chair the last couple days. Oh, he's a good man. But as I was saying, you know, to Araya Parsons' credit, lose the first set easily. Okay, what do we need to do? Let's check strategies. Let's try something different. Let's go to plan B. Permanent eye has been effective so far. Absolutely. If it's broken, do something different. Mark Powers hits that forehand volley where he just sticks the paddle out so well. Yeah, absorbs that pace. Such a hard thing to do to flip the paddle and absorb the pace. Oh, great 
volley. What a oh, terrific exchange. John Hughes had like two boards to hit that ball into. <laughs> with Araya blitzing. And you can see how good of a job Araya's done with his lobs to take John Hughes out of the picture. Mark, why do you think we see so little of the big high lob that we used to see all the time in the game, the good speed Manjinger made so famous? I think a lot of these players are just getting so good at loading up and it didn't really matter as much how high it was. It was, if they had the time, they were going to load up and take a swing at it. But I think more and more we will see it come back. You know, I've, even, I've heard Araya speak about when, when it is high and when it is especially deep, it's it's still tricky to cut it, you know. They he might make a couple, but the the odds still aren't in his favor. So I, I wouldn't be surprised 15, to see it come back more 30. and more. And that's a volley Rai's got to make right in his backhand side. A great job from Hughes Power staying in the point on the first foray. But there were. A very brave to come in behind that return with Parsons loading up on the forehand. And he's so Another big moment in the match, 30 all. Parsons follows that one in. Come low as bases. I think MI Paddle needs to do like a video on that low Parsons base in the volleys. Absolutely, imagine in the slow-mo. Oh! Wow. Great action. The permanent eyes having a big impact on the match, Mark. It was definitely a fantastic change. <laughs> Point for 3 1 for Araya Parsons. Parsons doesn't, uh, Powers doesn't put any heat on that forehand. <laughs> well, There's an unlikely miss from Parsons. That was a donation right there. Yeah. Big John return from Hughes, Hughes, and they've got a point Hughes. for two all. He timed that one well, just got it on the rise, accelerated through. Great swing there, Johnny Boy Hughes. Great first volley. Oh, some camera issues there, I think, courtesy of Mark Parsons. Oh, oh volley oh. from Hughes! And he was going to follow it up to try and spike the waterfall. What an animal. Well, he's such an amazing athlete. Raya wins that point against 99% of the players in the, t in the top five. It was a great move there by Araya, that lob to blitz last second. Wow, they're really digging yep. deep here. Yep. A great digging from Hughes and Powers here. Oh, and then he misses that one. Really big point there. Tremendous paddle. Really nice to see Hughes and Powers circa 2018. I mean, this this is the team that dominated the tour. They're looking like them old souls again. He's been struggling with that spin over there. Yeah. Beats him with the nick. I guess that's why we don't see them switch, switch in the backcourt too often, Mark. Game, Powers, Hughes. Wow, another turn of the screw, huh? Two games apiece. It was a great game there. That could have gone either way. Hughes and Powers managed to break back. It's all even now. 
That momentum they had is it's they're gonna have to regain it now. This forehand has really had an impact on the match. Oh some volley. Arrive with the flip. Oh there you we gotta go. see that one again. There you go. Arrive starting I mean, to get the like better of those volley exchanges. I, there must have been four unbelievable shots in that point. I can't even begin to, des to start describing it. Mark Powers with the response. Is yeah. there any anything you can do, I can do better? Apparently. But his level is outrageous right now. You love to see it, Mark. Two great teams playing good paddle, making adjustments, 30, going back 15. and forth. That's what we all here for. Yeah. McDirty calls those pickleball volleys from Mariah. That's that's pickleball's definitely helped his speed, that's for sure. And Padel. Uh, as if he needed any help. <laughs> Hughes is a rock up there. Yes. You can see that discipline again, keeping the ball away from Parsons' back end. Well, they made 15. five or six tough volleys at that point. Yeah, they, they, they earned really that point there, Houston Powers. Really forming a wall at the net. No. Oh, jeez. No. Say it ain't so. Araya, he had hardly any time to load up for that. Sick volley. Yes, yes. You mean oh. another sick volley? Another sick, another one. Go ahead. No. One. Hey. misses that four in. It's three Hughes. two. Powers and Hughes lead the second set, three games to two. Powers and Hughes won the first set, six games to one. Right. Oh yeah, we have the replay. A little back and forth. Tweener by Johnny Boy Hughes. Five hole? Five hole? And then he's coming in forward for the blitz. Wow, oh, that is something else. Juan this Araya up to serve. Jackie Cameron calling for a replay. She loved it. This is with the forehead. Need to go into the permanent eye again. Uriah following the ball. Wherever the ball goes, Uriah's getting in front of it. Good. Uh, oh! Hughes wasn't so nice that time. There you go. Cut it, not good enough. John Hughes anticipates it and puts it right in the hip of Juan Araya. Oh. Little cat and mouse that time, and Araya was the cat, and Hughes was the mouse. Araya waterfalls it over John Hughes, which is always a dangerous move. Gets Especially when he's looking for the waterfall. Yep. 
1530. Hughes' return of serve has been so good this match. You see the Araya faulting because the pressure he's put on him. And that is, that is tremendous depth and distance. Miguel Cobb usually keeps records at our club as to which is the furthest. And who's, that would be in the running right who, there. Who's got the record? Oh, Miguel Cobb's got all the records. <laughs> Miguel hits the ball so far. He's hit it like five courts down. He's got the different area codes. Shout out Miguel Cobbs. He's out here watching, watching the action somewhere. Always a shout out from Miguel Cobbs. One of the nicest guys around. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, oh. Are you kidding Parsons me? With a cross handed volley. We got to see that one again. 40, 30. Oh, someone needs Look, to collect money from these forehand? spectators. They are witnessing a show right now. Made the volley. Oh! The Game cut to the side screen. Parsons. What a Second point. Set now. Tied three games apiece. Oh, this, this level is worthy of a national final, Mark. Oh, my goodness. These spectators are just witnessing greatness right now. I this is just absolutely tremendous. I think we might have to charge them uh, entry fee, Mark. Works for me. Going out of the out, he could not get out of the way of the ball. Three all seconds. To me, one, set. Of the, one of the big differences of the match is Hughes and Powers are coming in behind their serve and taking the net on a consistent basis. And Araya Parsons haven't been able to do that. Oh, Parsons with the ro rolling forehand volley. Oh. 15 all. We don't, great often see Parsons, there. we don't often see Parsons blitzing as much as he is. He's doing a great job of it. Araya must be rubbing off on him. I wonder if Araya missed that one because he was worried Parsons was going to hit the paddle and he kind of rushed it a little bit. Made him tighten up. 30-15. Oh. So clutch. Big return right at defeat. 30 15 down. Great volley there from Hughes. That was behind the service line, too. with that boss in his back end. Yeah, that's always a dangerous thing to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, the jumper! There we go. That ball was crushed. We need a replay of that one. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. replay the last half an hour. Just give me a replay of everything. One foot up in the air. Big smile, jump, swing. Went yes. for the tweener. I got a great Parsons story about that at the changeover. Back to Deuce. Wild return from Mariah. Let's see the response here. Whoa. Misses the overhead wide. Umpire confirms the call. Well, you rarely, if ever, see Hughes and Powers question a call. The call stands. Back to Deuce. That was a metric maneuver. Oh, oh! And he blitzes behind it. Oh, my. Oh, it. oh, this is just outrageous. Permanent eye. Oh, 
Swing and a miss. Yes. Oh, no. oh. Advantage powers use. Mark Powers says home? enough is enough. A little Get off that net. Of Araya. Great lobs hey, on Araya. I tell you, Mark, I don't really care who wins the match, but I'd really like to see a third set of this. Oh, please. This is just so much fun. Scintillating. Back this is that one. Back to Deuce. You can definitely feel like this game is a big one. Whoever wins is going to feel pretty good about themselves. And the longer it goes, the more important it is. Break point. Mariah Parsons switching back. Customary sides. Great lob from Mariah. Really opening the court up. Oh, he's lobbed so well into that corner of Mark Powers. Just forcing the action down the middle or even more towards Parsons backhand. And then he's he always the blitz. threatening. Yeah, he's always moving, looking to blitz, just making you feel a little bit of pressure. You can tell that Araya's getting old. He turns 45 in May. Oh my. His movement is just sublime for a man of his age. Just beyond description. Really important point. All four men know it. Going to be very judicious. Oh. It hit him. Yep. Powers calls the the tip on himself. Wow. So Mark, quick story. We're in um, the villages in Florida doing an exhibition. Uh, myself, Parsons, Araya, and Anton Maverin. And there are about 300 people around the court watching. And on the second point, Parson goes in with a jump off wire with that, his, right, his uh, left foot. And he knocks down a 75-year-old woman <laughs> who was leaning against the wire. Just like that. Yeah, there it is. So I said, this would be a good time to talk about paddle etiquette while we wait for the paramedics. <laughs> did, he, uh, did he finish the point? Or did he go see he, if she was He okay? won the point. 75-year-old <laughs> woman didn't finish the point. She, she didn't. Uh, well, she did on her back. And uh, she probably didn't didn't get the paddle bug after that exhibition. Three four. Four I think it's four serving three. I think Parsons actually won that litigation when she sued him. But here we go, four three. Four three. Araya Parsons. Parsons held to start the match. I don't think it's held again since. At a game point last game and didn't win it. But this is this is wow. New ball in play. Hughes and Powers win the exchange that time. And look for Powers to just load up on this forehand, yeah. Another big return from Hughes, though. Yep. And they are taking the net on every single Parson serve. If everybody's looking to do a highlight reel for the APTA, just, here it is. You got this match. Stream it all. Oh, oh let court, court winner. Big point here. Oh. Hughes' forehand is really just ripping it every time. Yep. Smooth like butter right now. Yep. Yep. 
pass into right, get the net. Three break points down. That was a fast break of serve. Get back on serve. Powers Hughes break right back. Big returns all around. Four all in the second set. See that for it was hit with some aggression? <laughs> Seems to have a little fire behind it. Fire behind Araya? <laughs> Powers not looking to switch back to their customary sides. Yo! Had a couple of opportunities. Oh, Powers looked like he wanted to call that ball out. Looked at Hughes. Yeah. Yo. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you cannot hit that waterfall overhead to John Hughes. It's just, can't do it. He's always looking for that shot. Interesting look at the back there, them not switching it. It, it gave a little cool dynamic. Yeah. Powers are volleying so well. There's no oh, balls up there. Stop. Catches the seam. Big shoulder turn. John Hughes just chops it up. Another great volley from Hughes. What a volley from Mariah. Oh. They get the net back. Parsons thought that ball was going to do more than it did. <laughs> Just when you thought he wasn't ready. Hughes Powers had the answer. A couple of great forehand volleys in the middle. Oh, they volleyed spectacularly today. Red court winner. They they were owed one, so they'll take it back now. As yeah, good a no time as any. At this point of the match. As good a time as any to get it. Great lob. Oh. Ryan should have driven that ball out of position. 40, 15. John Hughes. Too far to the center. Seen the open court stick in the volley. Great shot. Of course he'll get it. You didn't have any doubts about that, did you? Never. And now they're switching back. Switching a little earlier that time. Just out. 40, so tempting. 40, 30. Another point for 5 4. I love the battle that's going on between Hughes and Araya in the permanent eye. Oh, when to drive, when to lob. The second set is just. Game, Powers. Boy, that's Hughes. some volley from Powers. I mean, that was a good return. It's, it's been great returns. Mark set. Powers has just picked Five up that volley. Four from his shoestrings, that one is a little high that time, but he hasn't missed one. He'd just be able to slide it down the line each time. Ridiculous. Person's got that return a little bit high, but that's a quibble. Folks at home, those are not routine volleys. I think just for no. a point of, point of reference, Mark, we need maybe uh, an amateur out there just trying to do the same volley just so we can, Four serving five. So we can see the point of reference. I don't know if the amateur was me, I would get hurt. <laughs> Hughes 
looking for that down up overhead, crawling up the wires. And Araya loves to hit the waterfall. Oh. Another great exchange between Hughes and Araya. Araya comes out on top of that one. Yep, fantastic volley, really stuck it. Right, get get Parsons. Oh, thirty love. All wow. the all the shots that they volleyed back, the ball's traveling two miles an hour. Uh, a little confusion, trying to, and it's trying a winner. To leave it for for his partner, the lefty, to chop it up, and a little confusion. Big moment. Another great return from Hughes. I tell you, that's to me, that's been the difference in the match, Mark. I don't disagree. He's John Hughes has been swinging at his forehand. He's made very few errors, and it's been it's been very effective. He's taking some really good, confident cut, cuts at it. What wow. a pickup from Powers. This permanent eye is is tricky. Kwanarai is all over that net right now. That's a great lob. John Hughes follows it in. What a play. Oh, and here comes Araya again. Oh! Let's go! What a point. Wow. Some blitz by Hughes. I thought he was in all sorts of Mark, trouble. You, but you can't see it yet, but Jackie Cameron's going wild in the tables behind us. Game point. Tie it up here for Araya Parsons. Oh. I got you. Incredible volleys on some big forehands. Wow. See Hughes jumping up, his powers running for that ball? Yep. It was just uh, trying to give him a little extra encouragement. Second set yeah. tied. Five games apiece. Wow. Tremendous action. Great hands there by, ha by Juan Araya. Just able to cut that ball off, hit the drop shot, ties it up, five all. You know, they talked about the, uh, the Maradona goal, hands of God. That was the hand of God. These are the hands of God. Amen. Must be an Argentinian thing. Those are the balls that Hughes Powers aren't missing. Mariah catches the net. Surprised when you get a big fist pump out of that one. 15-30. Parsons, so much confidence in that backhand after missing the last one, rips the next one. And they've got two break opportunities to go up a break again. Powers and Hughes taking a moment.
great move in the serve there by John Hughes. Pick up all move off the back wire. Oh! Wow. 30, 40. Parsons kind of mishit that first file, that first forehand. Last forehand. Almost mishit it well enough to get it in. And there it is! Game, Araya Parsons. Araya Parsons lead the second set. Six games to five. Oh, if Parsons. every battle match was like this, Mark, we'd be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Oh, this is phenomenal stuff here. Araya Parsons break to go 6-5 up. Mark Parsons up to serve. Powers and Hughes have broken him the last two service games, Mark? Yeah. Might be more than that. They broke him in the first set also. Might be three. I All think right, he's held well, since the first game. He's serving to send this final into a third set. Let's see if they can consolidate the break here. And they're playing all his service games from the backcourt, in large part because of Hughes' return. He's taking this ball down the line over and over again. Hughes and Powers get the net. Love that little chip from Mariah. Makes the lob so much more effective. It's same exact swing. Yeah, he does such a great job of holding it, disguising it. You. Yeah. Watch. Oh. What a blitz from Mariah. Great move. He held it till the last oh. moment. Hughes yelled watch, but it was too little too late. Great volley. <laughs> Smack. Climbs all over it. Quick release forehand of Powers. Durant-esque. Lobs here. Araya not seeming too stressed to press the action. No, it's like a new Araya. One version 2.765432. <laughs> really playing patiently. What's your prediction here, Mark? Who's going to give first? Powers or Araya? I would say Araya. Always a good guess, huh? <laughs> oh! Wow. Permanent eye. That is dead. Fantastic, wow. fantastic cut into the corner. 30 love, two points from the set. We might get our third, Mark. Oh, yes. Come on, baby. I Just want more battle drinks. like this. Oh, and then Araya misses 30, that one. 15. At least he doesn't have to move far to... Just I think they should be doing some high formation here against Powers. This is just not working. Here he comes. Oh. oh boy, that ball barely caught, huh? Nope. Arise move almost spooked Hughes enough to make him miss. Oh! 40, 15. Wow, Powers thought the ball might be out. It might have been. Plays it and misses it. Two points for the set here. Two set points is right. Another big 40, return 30. from Hughes. Boy, is he playing well. Very effective with his return today. Best I've seen him play in three years. 
And they beat him on the blitz. Parsons decided to follow that one in, and I'm not sure why. Wow, save two set points. A great rip from Parsons there. Using full scramble mode. Parsons was looking to catch Hughes by surprise. Powers by surprise when he came in behind that ball in the second set point. And you see Hughes short in the court again, three feet inside the baseline, putting that pressure on Parsons. Oh boy. Break point, point yeah. Point for the tie break. Game. those struggles two. with that serve to the Ed court that we talked about Seven earlier. Set tied. Six games apiece. Tie break. And they'll play a 12 point tie break to determine the winner of the set. Oh my goodness. Those volleys are ridiculous. With a riot closing on him, too. Last time we did this, Soraya found a forehand and just ripped it through him. First point of the tiebreaker. Hughes and Powers won the first set. Second set has just been an absolute barn burner. Yes, yes. Yep. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Such a smart <laughs> shot from Powers, not oh. mentioned he made it. The lob the Araya I must have just caught the line. You saw Parsons looking at it real closely. He was willing that. Obviously, there's not much will. <laughs> Great low overheads. Powers letting that ball drop. To shoulder height. Pushing it deep in the court. Very little pace. Very hard ball to drive. Both teams playing super patient. Hughes and Powers do not want to go a third set and spend more time out there. Oh. Oh. And you see Hughes with his trademark. Whenever he lets a ball like that bounce, he always takes a quick look to see where they are. And he picked up Parsons coming in and managed to get the ball low enough that Parsons missed the volley. That's always a tricky ball when you're running in after, after a good lob and you, you don't stop and they catch you in transition. First pressure to hit a good, good volley. Going overhead. Boy, Dipping. two missed volleys. Dipping return there by Hughes. Some, pow some pressure by Mark Powers. They win the first two points of the tiebreaker. With both volleys you'd expect Araya Parsons to make. Playing today, you would definitely expect them to make those. Here we are in the permanent eye again. Parson takes time to wipe the sweat off of his, no <laughs> uh, the sweat of his nose. <laughs> yeah, there's no need to rush. One of the things that made the permanent eye so effective was Parsons' ability to hit the nick, but he's so deep in the court, he can't even go for it from where he's standing now. I'd like to see him in a couple of more feet. Be a little more aggressive with that overhead. 2-1. John Hughes. Great overhead, too. 
Hughes. And he's done a great job changing the of his serve to, to quite all right. Just picking off the return games. This is almost a must point for Raya Parsons. I think Parsons lost his serve the last, I don't know, four or five times he served. Great overhead from Hughes. One powers Hughes. Which is turning his shoulders, loading up on it. His overheads have been spectacular. He's played at a tremendous level. So two points for the match. It's 5-1. Hughes powers. They haven't won a lot of points here on Parson serve. A first volley from Mariah. Pulls the little Houdini. Escapes danger. That was dangerous, let me tell you. What? Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Fantastic Five. move by Araya. John Hughes has all the answers today. I mean, I thought Araya was going to shake his hand before he hit the volley. They were so close together. Oh, my goodness. A bucket load of match points. Great low on low contact overheads there. Hughes and Powers looking very in control right now. I love that's all we've been missing. Here. I'm on edge. Forget about the crowd. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Oh, great. great. Oh, I thought Hughes made that volley. <laughs> I think that's 6 2 powers Hughes. Fantastic patience there by Parsons and Araya. Waited for their moment. Got the Parsons back in. A lot of work. That's one match point saved. Oh! Five, some, uh, three, some good clean love in there. Six three mark. Did you lose the score mark? You they switched it. I must have switched it four one, not five one. Yeah, so this is the first match points. I had that wrong. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Okay, I was best you could save with you. First time I've been wrong in like twenty minutes. 
<laughs> arrive is serving yeah, arrive serving three six three match points the huge return coming up And this deep in the court, Parsons just simply can't go for the nick. Yeah, definitely all the offense is coming from Araya. Oh. Shotting. oh, what a blitz from Araya. Big moment, big Four, time to do it. Six. Hughes was swinging at that overhead. Got to risk it for the biscuit, Mark. He certainly did. He got the overhand. Raya Parsons lost a 5-1 lead in Detroit in the breaker last month. Let's see if they can turn the tables. 6-4, six, 6-5 six, now. What a shot from Araya. Powers, powers just wow. gave, gave a look to his partner saying, let's not do that one again. Yeah, let's not do that one again. <laughs> let's, let's go have dinner after let's we win this point there. is what he said. Oh. And he does it again. He's still there. Araya. No, he's not. Six to all. Araya, three match point saves. Six, six. And you can see how cautiously Araya's playing at this point of the match. Man, you love to see it. Just fearless in the moment. Fortune favors the bold. Wow. Oh. Johnny Boy Araya Hughes tried to hit the seven, great court six, awareness, sees the space as he's running back, able to catch passes in transition. Incredible play at six all in the tiebreaker. Araya tried to hit the ball soft so Hughes couldn't chase it down off the back wires, and he hit it so soft that Hughes hit it off the deck. Match point number four. Six, seven. First on the Parsons serve. serve. Great serve, close to. Okay, so we're seven all in the breaker. Seven all. Paddle so hunt is hard on here. edge. Great close there. Eight, seven, Powers Hughes. Ryan was unhappy with somebody, whether it was him or Parsons, I'm not sure. That was Parsons' ball to drive. I think he's out of Match point himself. number five. Oh. What a volley from Powers. I'm tired of saying that, actually. He makes every forehand volley look easy. Double for him. Another great blitz. These players are not playing scared right now at all. You love to see it. Oh. Oh! oh! Unbelievable play. Wow. One, seven, six. Just what spectacular. Mark, that was phenomenal. What a set of paddle. Just tremendous action. Mark, Can I'm going to go over the quality. I'm go outside and uh, get a little interview ready. So great stuff you can do a little wrap up here and i'm gonna go see speak to these studs out there works for me mark so hughes powers with a circa 2018 performance absolutely tremendous uh john hughes that's as well as i've seen him play in a long time absolutely brilliant
And you see them talking about the match. Jackie Cameron out there, APTA Tour Director. Here comes Ann Waldron, who handles the live streaming. Been a tough day for the live streaming crew. The wires got cut twice by the Westchester Maintenance Crew, we believe. Once was with the snowplow. They moved the cones out of the way politely before they cut the wire. Um, but she's such a high-quality match, worthy of a, of a Nationals final. All four guys played well. John Hughes just, wow, what a tremendous level, as well as I think I've seen, ever seen him in his forehand. He volleyed like a demon. Just, uh, just spectacular stuff. So the APTA Tour will continue next weekend in Cincinnati, and then two weeks after that in Boston. We'll see uh, Johan Durant and Stephen Mitchell are pretty much assured of the number one seed at Nationals come Long Island in March, but the two seeds still up for grabs. A couple of Grand Prix left, some highly rated tournaments. I don't think this one will have too much of an impact on the rankings, but a lot of impact on the, the Hughes Powers confidence after losing in the quarters of Chicago. This was a, a different looking team than we've seen before this year. I mean, this was this was just tremendous. Really impressed with how well these guys played, especially Hughes. Just so much fun to watch. So we get Mark Innes out there to do an interview with the winners. Get their thoughts on it. Hopefully we're able to do it technically, because as I said, it's been a tough day technically for the live streaming crew through no fault of their own. Okay, so we're trying to get a microphone on the court. Actually, I think they're bringing him inside to do the interview. There goes Powers. So he's headed inside. Oh, I see Mark Innes on the next court. Okay, so Mark's got Mark Powers and John Hughes getting them tight together. And we're throwing it down to Mark Innes for an interview with the winners of the 2020-22 Westchester Champ Tournament. With 2022 Westchester Open Champs, Mark Powers, John Hughes, and our umpire. There we go. What's happening? Great stuff, James. That was fantastic. Thank you. Well, guys, from yeah. my perspective, I thought from the top chair, I thought it was a great match. You guys get it. <laughs> <laughs> there we have the wise words of our umpire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gents, phenomenal performance. That was uh, that was incredible. How uh, how are you feeling out there? Uh, feeling good. Um, you know, I felt like the uh, first set we had a lot of momentum. Kind of got away with it. Uh, we ran a few games in a row. Yes, yeah! the fan club. That's the Mark Powers fan club. Always always fun to uh, to play in the area. Had a bunch of buddies come out to watch. It's always nice to have a little cheering squad. But uh, okay. but no, it was great. You know, we knew that we knew that uh, Juan and Mark were going to uh, to pick it up in the second set. We were just trying to get as kind of get as much room ahead of them in the second set as possible. But they started playing really well, really smart. Juan's hands and, and Mark's hands out there were pretty phenomenal. Some of the volleys they were making were unbelievable. But it was a great battle. It's always fun playing these guys and. It won't be the last. Early in the first set, you hit one ball over to Parsons' backhand that he just obliterated, and you didn't hit it there again. That was uh, it, that was some serious discipline that you that you showed the rest of the match. No, I think I did hit there again. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't hit there again. When yeah. You, when you have Mark Parsons hit, he's got his left foot on the side wire. You know that you're in trouble in there. After he hit that shot, I, Mark Mark Parsons and I were just like smiling at each other. You hit that I shot. He's right trying to make the ESPN top ten again. <laughs> That's right. John, you played incredible. You looked really confident out there. A lot of great swings in the forehand. Your your return was was pretty flawless today. Anything anything different you've been doing? You go you guys go on a camp upstate with jo Jim Kaufman over the holidays and work on some things. No, honestly, Mark Powers is my coach to be. Like he's just been, we've been getting out there, and um, you know, I just try to like, if I can hit my forehand like 20% as good as Mark does, then I feel like I'm doing something right. Um, but you know, we've we've tried to get out there just a little bit here in the new year. Um, you know, we had a little bit of a break, 
and we just try to get out there and it's been feeling pretty good and <clears throat> it's been feeling good uh, throughout the day and it just kind of felt better and better and and for me I, I feel like um, if I'm if I'm hitting my um, if I'm feeling good at the net hit my overhead and stuff like that everything else kind of seems to kind of come together here so it was um, it was just a really good day and <clears throat> I think in the last match when uh, when Mark had a couple of you know letdowns I was trying I was able to be there and kind of pick him up and and then you know in the back half of the second set I think I had kind of a little bit of a I didn't go away at all but Juan just hit some great balls and he was baiting me and I hit a few a few too many off pace drives that he was able to kind of just like hit winners on um, but Mark was able to pick me up and uh, and it was just nice it was a good day for us so it's great to see you guys back and playing so well. When uh, when are we going to get to see you again? Uh, I think Boston. Boston's next. It's one of our favorite tournaments to play every year. They do such a great job up there. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to it. How many Boston Opens have you guys won? Three. Hey, <laughs> you knew the answer. All right, well, we're not going to keep you too long. Get you guys some beers. Great job, boys. Catch them at the Boston Open. Mark Powers, John Hughes, 2022 Westchester Open champions. Good job, boys. Thank you, bro. Bravo. Bravo. Cheers, well done. Cheers.